Hi, the Sustainable Mama here, and today we're going to be doing some something with dandelions. I've always known, or I haven't always known, but um, for the last few years I've known that we can eat dandelions, but I didn't really know all the different things we can do with it. I'm slowly learning. Up to this day I've only tried just eating the leaves, um, but today we're going to be, or I'm going to be making um, dandelion jelly or dandelion preserves. So we'll go ahead and get started. I already prepped the flowers. What you do is you um, just collect about four cups of like the actual dandelion flowers and like the bigger ones the better because they have more petals. Then you just separate the petals from the green part. Um, so when you pick them just pick the heads and then um, you'll separate the flowers from the green part by just kind of getting in there and twisting it or you can use scissors and cut it from it. But you're going to use two cups of the petals. So we have one cup here and a cup is already in the saucepan. Just put the second cup in there. And then we're going to be doing two cups of water in there as well. So go ahead and measure our water. This is purified water. And when you're collecting the flowers, you want to make sure that they're not sprayed with any fertilizer or pesticides or anything like that. And try and get like as far away from that kind of stuff as you can. I picked these in my father-in-law's neighborhood, but if you have like a countryside near you, that would be more ideal because then you wouldn't get any like flo floating pesticides from other neighbors. So what we're going to do is we're going to stir this up and then we're going to bring it to a boil. So just kind of stir the flowers in there with the water. Now these were, mine were refrigerated overnight so it's kind of clumped together. Um, I went to make it last night and I had used the last bit of lemon juice to make lemonade for dinner and I didn't even think that I was going to need some for this, like it just didn't register in my mind. But wait, don't use all of it. But I did. So I had to refrigerate them overnight and then I got the lemon juice today. Okay. So we're going to put this on your, my stove top here. Put it on high. And we're going to bring it to a boil. And then once you boil it, you boil it for 10 minutes. Alright, we've got it boiling and I lied. It's not supposed to be high heat, it's supposed to be medium heat. So we got this on medium heat. And then I've got my canner coming to a boil and then my um, my lids in here coming to a boil. And then I've already got these cleaned and got hot water soaking in them for canning. So that's what I'm doing while this is coming to a boil or boiling for 10 minutes. All right, the 10 minutes is up. So we're gonna take it over here. We've got a strainer set up with a bowl. And we're just gonna pour it over there. And then I'm gonna take a spoon and get all of the leaves on top of the strainer and then start pushing all the juice as much as I can back into the bowl. All right, so this is the liquid that we've strained off. And we're going to return it to the pot to bring it. to bring it to a boil, <laughs> like that. And then we add uh, two teaspoons of lemon juice. Go ahead and add that. And it's already boiling. And we're going to stir it a little bit. Now we're going to add one and a fourth teaspoons of pectin. So here's the one teaspoon. And we're going to add a four, another fourth. Alright, so we've got all the pectin in there. And now we need to bring it to a full rolling boil to where it can't be stirred down. This is my pectin's instructions, so yours might be different. So just look, make sure you check out the instructions on your pectin um, packaging. I'm using... Uh, ball brand pectin so and they have an instructions on the inside so that's what I'm going with and all right so we've got our rolling boil and then now what we're going to do is we're going to add one cup of sugar and stir it in 
and we're gonna just make sure that it gets completely dissolved and we're gonna return it to another full rolling boil and then you'll boil it, we'll boil it for one minute. When the minute is up we've um, removed it from the heat and we um, you can skim any foam that you have um, if, if it's necessary I only have like a little bit here. Okay and then what you do is you get your jars they have had hot water in it so they're ready. And lay them out. This said it was going to make two pints, but I'm not so sure about that, so we'll see. Pour in. Yeah, it did not make as much as it said it was going to. Okay, I added a little bit more in here because we're supposed to have a fourth inch head space. So now we're at the right height on that. And now we take our magnet um, here where it comes in the canning thing, canning kit. And ooh, we're going to get out one of the lids. Lid. And then we're just going to lay it on here. Alright, make sure it's lined up. And then you grab one of the rims. And they boil for it um, to just make sure that there's no germs or anything. And then you screw that on there. And you screw it really tight. And then we're going to put it into here um, in the water bath. Okay, it's in the water bath and we're going to go ahead and lower it down into it. And it should be covered all the way with water and it's not, so we're going to add a little bit probably just the boiling water that's left in here so it's completely covered. Alright, we have it, um, the jar in the canner and we're going to let that go for um, about 10 minutes. And you have to make sure it's under 1 to 2 inches of water. So we added some more water in here and it, it'll be at a boil here any minute. So once, you know, you got it in there or you cover it and you're going to put it in there for 10 minutes once it hits the rolling boil, that's when you start the time. Alright, the 10 minutes is up, so we're going to go ahead and get it out. You want to make sure you grab it below the rim along the glass rim that it has there. And then just put it on a towel on the counter and let it sit for a few hours and within like just a few minutes you should hear it pop for um, the seal. And I just tasted the uh, dandelion jelly and it tastes so good. It's really sweet. It tastes very similar to honey. So I really like it and this is definitely something I'll be making in the future as dandelions are free. So what a great way to use dandelions and make a pretty much free jelly. So that's how you do it. That's how you make dandelion jelly. I'm a little bummed that I did all that work for only one uh, jar to, you know, sit. So I would recommend if you're going to do this and you want to, you have a canner and you're actually going to store it and stuff, then double or triple this recipe. Um, I'll leave a link below to the recipe. But if you're just doing it for just to have it in your fridge, then this is actually a perfect recipe because it only made like one of the jam holders and like a quarter. And those each hold only eight ounces. So it made about 10 ounces or so. So that's actually a good recipe for somebody who doesn't have a canner and just wants to make jam for just in their fridge right now. So again, I'll leave a link below to the recipe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will um, see you next week. Bye.